everyone. In this video tutorial I will show you how to sample and record PLC tags into a CSV file so that each piece of data is recorded in a separate column. To achieve this, I use the LMQTT client function block to connect to a broker on a PC and node read to record the received data in the CSV file. LMQTT client function block is used to configure the publishing and receiving of data. In this section we review the most important parameters and tags. The control structure contains fields to enable publishing, subscribing and unsubscribing. If the configuration is done correctly, activating enable and publish will result in the output being true and the error flag being false. The connection parameters include a hardware ID, which is 64, a connection ID set to 1, and the broker IP, which is the IP address of the PC where you want to record the data. The port is set to 1883, QoS is set to 1, and the MQTT topic is topic pub 1. Finally, this is the array of data bytes that we want to publish and record on the PC. This is the procedure to publish data in a way that each tag will be recorded in a separate column of a CSV Excel file. First, obtain an array of integers from the existing array of real values, which has already been multiplied by 10 to account for one decimal place. Then, convert this array into an array of strings. Next, create a string containing all the data separated by commas. Finally, convert this string into an array of characters and bytes and assign them to the MQTT client function block. To achieve this goal, I defined a GVL global variable list data block that contains the necessary data types for conversion. The simulate data function generates data using a simple command. It is mainly for simulation purposes allowing you to observe changes in the data. This is the function for data conversion, which transforms an array of real values into an array of bytes. In the next tutorial part, you will learn how to configure and program Node-RED to record data into a CSV file. 